Five at five, a new reaction in West Alabama tonight following the announcement that the high school Super 7 championship series won't be played in Tuscaloosa. State High School Athletic Association making the call this week to take Tuscaloosa and Auburn out of the rotation because of the possibility a college football playoff game could be in one of those stadiums at the same time. Brian Henry live at five from Tuscaloosa with the impact that could have on businesses in T-Town, Brian. Well, Jonathan Brittany, it comes down to the fact that Alabama or Auburn could potentially host a playoff game under the expanded playoff system that starts this year. That made the move necessary due to potential logistical issues. On the strip, Ned Megenpum remembers all too well what the Super 7 high school championships meant to his business whenever the title games were played at Bryant Denny. Not far at all from this restaurant on University Boulevard. It's a sport town. People are living it. They got energy. They come in, celebrate. You can see all their faces. But not anymore. The Alabama High School Athletic Association says the Super 7 will no longer be played at Bryant Denny or Jordan Hare. Yeah, yeah. An event that brought thousands of people to either Tuscaloosa or Auburn. For Megan Pine. Yeah, for the business point of view, it's, it's going to hurt a little bit. Hurt to the tune of about 2% of this business. On paper, that doesn't sound like much, but 2% is 2%. Put it another way, Megan Pond served hundreds of customers whenever the championships were held at Bryant Denny. And remember, the restaurant business is often seasonal. Uh, it's like the summertime, like the college, a lot of students out, you know, back at home. Still, there is the potential upside. Should the Crimson Tide do well this fall and host a playoff game, that could, in theory, more than make up for the loss of the Super 7. That will be good. Like, it to pay off and then uh, we can host the home game because this home game attract more like 100,000 more to the Tuscaloosa. 100,000 reasons for Ned Megan Pond to smile over sushi. Now this response today from Visit Tuscaloosa, it says in part, while the reason for the change is beyond anyone's control, our team will continue to build on this relationship with the high school association and look for new opportunities to partner in the future. Now, the entire quote can be found at the web version of the story on WBRC.com. In Tuscaloosa, Brian Henry, WBRC Fox 6 News, on your side.